honor and a privilege. And when I receive, uh, I, I really appreciate your invitation from the uh, KMA. Uh, this is my first, my second time to visit Korea, Korea South Korea. I, I think it's a very wonderful, wonderful country. I really enjoy the food and uh, the people are very kind and the trans transportation very convenient. Uh, two, two weeks ago, uh, when I appoint uh, to be a, a delegate of the uh, Taiwan Medical Association to attend the conference uh, be held in South Korea to, to talk about the uh, experience and the influence of a global budget in Taiwan. Uh, maybe 19 percent of doctors around me uh, they just tell they just tell me, would you please tell our dear friends in South Korea Medical Association, please don't upset, don't agree the global budget system imprinted in South Korea. Oh, so so, I, so uh, maybe what, what's the reason uh, we reject the global budget system? Uh, maybe I can give you some uh, uh, implementation. At first, uh, maybe I can uh, give you a little background of the Taiwan. There are over uh, 29 million people living in Taiwan. About 30.3% uh, of the population is over the age of eight, um, 65. The total health expenditure was only 6.6% uh, of GDP in uh, 2015. I think it's really quite low. And the life expectancy was um, 18 years in two, 2016. Uh, just, uh, let's look at the ratio of the total health expenditure. Uh, it's very low. And it didn't change in recent years. Uh, the, red, the, red color, the red color is Taiwan, and the South Korea is right here. So uh, it, it, our uh, it's, it, it's quite similar to our uh, total health expenditure. Taiwan effectively control the growth rate of the health expenditure. And uh, Prior to the implementation of natural health insurance, Taiwan has 30 social insurance such as uh, labor insurance, uh, government employee insurance, and the farmer insurance, which only cover 59% uh, of the population. So in 1995, the central government uh, established was established in the national health insurance, and, so, and the right now, uh, over the 99 percent population was covered by the national insurance. In order to improve the quality of health care, ensure the family are in finance, and encourage public participation, the second generation national health insurance began on June 1st, uh, 2013. Uh, let's. Here are the sum of main case study of the Taiwan National Health Insurance Program. National Health, in, Health Insurance in compulsory program and all residents must know the program. And the NHIA, National Health Insurance Administration, is the only agency authority to the administrate the program. It creates premium from the insurer and reimburse medical payment to medical care provider. The health care coverage is very comprehensive and the people need to pay a co-payment when seeking health care. About 93% of the fighter nationwide have contract with national, uh, with national insurance, 93% uh, uh, of the provider. Provider are in, we invest according to the program on the global budget payment system. The Taiwan healthcare system is dominated by the private, the, by the private sector. And the hospital adopt the close staff model and the physician are primarily salary by the hospital. Uh, there is no gatekeeper system to screen patients. Patients can go to any clinic 
or directly visit a hospital without a reference. The volume of, the volume of hospital operation service is high. It's very high as a consequence. However, the health care usually provide in the timely way and the waiting time is very short. The slide show the natural insurance finance. Natural health insurance is primarily financed by premium, including the general, the general and the supplementary premium. The general premium are calculated on monthly, on monthly salary and the, uh, contribute by the employer, employee and the government. The supplementary premium are imposed on certain non-payroll income, uh, for example, the stock. The stock, stock market the bonus. Okay. okay, let's look at the, the trend of national into finance status. You can find out uh, the, the increase rate is pretty low. The national insurance revenues, the increase rate is almost 4.5% uh, and the expenditure is only 4.7%. Uh, uh, the errors the arrows indicate uh, when the, the revenue is decreased uh, below the expenditure, the government have to increase the premium rate. So we have increased the premium rate in 2000, 2002, and 2010. And uh, 2030, we uh, established, we launched a second, genera second generation natural health insurance to increase the supplementary premium levy. Okay, we, the, the, the average utilization rate of the natural science outpatient service in 2015 was 15 per person uh, per year. The number of outpatient visits is, is higher than that thing in any OECD com country. But uh, on positive side, this testify to the convenience of visiting a doctor in Taiwan, for which they are, uh, they are practically no finance barrier. barrier. And then the NHI program has earned a good reputation among Taiwan's people, and uh, is generally considered to be one of Taiwan's most popular public programs. Uh, according to the poll in, uh, in recent poll, you can find out what, it's very crazy. 18.5.8% uh, uh, with public certification with the National, National Health Insurance Program uh, since 19, 19, 1999. But we can find out if when the, the government increase the premium or co-payment adjusts, the satisfaction rate will decrease. And, uh, and uh, you can find out we, the, the, second gen, the second generation national insurance, we increase the supplementary premium. So the, uh, the satisfaction rate is decreased. But years later, our people always forget what, what's happened. So they, the health uh, satisfaction rate increase again. And uh, when we worry about uh, the people, even we have contained the global budget, how about the, the patient's safety, how about the quality? Uh, the slides show the aspect, they, they, uh, they survey the aspect around the foreigner who, who live in the Taiwan. You can find out the island offer the cheapest and the best medical facility any country in the world according to the new survey 1414. Uh, Taiwan is here. The medical cost is cheap and our quality is very high. Okay. When, uh, when we look at the international comparison, uh, when talk uh, think about the life expectancy and the infant mortality rate, those numbers place Taiwan on top of many OECD countries in terms of health care performance. So even, even the, we long established the global budget system in Taiwan, but we haven't sacrificed the, uh, 
uh, patient safety and the patient's care quality. But according to the according to the survey from the NHIA uh, this year, the physician in satisfaction uh, with the NHI is in 30 percent. But under my personal observation, it could be below 10 percent. Because the survey, just the, the government do the survey, but I don't think so. It's so high the satisfaction. Uh, so I, I searched the website and find the, the paper from the Korea on the physician satisfaction for the, the nature insurance only below the 10 percent. And right now, I, let's, I talk about the global budget system in Taiwan. Global budget system posts a fixed stop, uh, the budget cap on the health care, which beyond which the cost incurred by the foreign should not be reimbursed. So you give it a one, for example, I give it a one, uh, $100. If you, one, uh, the $100 you have used up, the $100, the other medical, Medical service, even you provide the medical service, the government will, will not pay the money. And the GPS is basically a point for service. So later I will, I will introduce what is the point for service. And the, the GPS is a set through the negotiation at the beginning of the accounting years. And the, the total budget will be divided by the sum of point of all service by all provider and generating a point value. In Taiwan, the total budget is divided into six regional budget according to the geo, uh, geography distribution. For example, like Taipei, Taichung, Kaohsiung, and the, and the eastern part. So we, we have uh, divided into six regional budget. And uh, each regional budget divided into four sectors, and uh, they are employed uh, step by step. In, uh, be in the beginning, in 1998, uh, the, den the dental service first that we have uh, launched the global budget system. And uh, then the traditional Chinese medicine and the clinical based service. And uh, then the hospital based service in 2002. The global budget served as the expanded care for each set. Then three years later, more than, more than 10,000 physicians, Taiwan physicians, marched through the street in Taipei to protest the global budget system, which had to straighten their survival and the patients, patients' right. But, but unfortunately, even we, we, we have much demonstrated on the street, but central government, nothing happened. Our money didn't increase, even we have the, our post uh, demonstration. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the annual growth budget growth rates in Taiwan. The key feature of Taiwan's growth budget is that it gives the National Health Insurance Administration a labor to, to man manage within their budget if the incentive of the payment system drive volume increasing. Uh, since uh, implementing, the system has kept medical expenditure growing below, below, five, below 5 percent a year while maintaining access to the high quality of care. And the global budget cap was set for Taiwan's four, uh, four sectors. In, 19, in 1917, the proportion of the total budget in hospital uh, is uh, 68 percent. In Western, Western medicine primary care is 20 percent. In dental service, uh, six, uh, six percent, and uh, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, four percent. Each sector budget was estimated. All these sectors. The budget was estimated 
uh, by the previous year's medical expenditure. And uh, right now, we, we will think about who and uh, in which way to, to design the global budget every year. Uh, the floor is, is talk about the executive of the global budget. At first, the administration of health and welfare, the first, uh, the Ministry of Health and Welfare, proposed the range of natural health insurance each year before six months, before six months of the each fiscal year. And the land, the natural, uh, when after the approval by the executive yen of the central, of the central government, and the, the, the approval set to the National Health Insurance Committee. The, the committee should negotiate and reach agreement on the aggregate amount of the medical payment and the method of allocation. Uh, bef uh, no later than three months uh, prior to the commencement of each fiscal year. Fiscal, uh, years. Uh, look at this. Why the, the authority should make, should make their own decision in case the NHIC does not reach agreement in time. Actually, if the, we negotiate each other, the two parties negotiate with each other, if the negotiation not finish in time, the, the program or the plan will set to the MOHM. And the minister, this minister of our MOHM, will decide which project will launch uh, next year. And then they set to the NHIA to execution the global budget next year. Uh, use what, uh, what criteria will decide the growth rate of the global budget? Uh, there were two factors we we are, we are can take, take into account. The first is non-negotiable factor. The non-negotiable factor, the, all the, all the uh, even the consumer, and the authority, the expert, all the medical association cannot negotiate because for the uh, non-negotiable factor include the aging, population growth, and new cost, uh, the change. Right now, we always, we have the ability to uh, to decision to decide the global budget system, we always talk about think about is the negotiation factor, and uh, what is the negotiation factor? Oh, this is a negotiation factor in 1970. The negotiation factor included improved medical quality, the changeable service usage, and the new tech and the drug. If a new drug, for example, the hepatitis C, the, the new drug for the hepatitis C is very expensive. If you want to implant, want to use, uh, use the new drug, you have to negotiate with each other. It's you. Let's talk about the National Health Committee. Uh, committee is a very uh, important, the uh, important one to uh, to decide the growth rate of the global budget system in Taiwan. Uh, their job is to negotiate the annual global budget and its allocation, and the portion or the allocation of annual budget, uh, global budget for ambulatory and inpatient care in each region. The com the, com the committee is composed of four, uh, four parties. The first is the provider. The second is the competent authority. The third is consumer. And the last is expert. The slide show is the negotiation factor. Each year in September, 
in September, the healthcare provider will negotiate with the payer, the consumer, for the gross rate of global budget for next year. I take the, take the, uh, take the number for example. The provider, the medical association, want to increase the 41% of the gross rate next year, but only the consumer, the consumer only want to increase uh, no more 2% gross rate. The difference almost uh, nearly equal to the 70 million US dollars. Oh, it's, it's, a quite, it's a quite huge uh, spend the, the money. Uh, unfortunately, during the negotiation process, the authority and the expert say nothing. They always like an outsider. Uh, look at the provider and consumer. They argue with each other. What's the, uh, I talk about what's the law of the doctor during the budget negotiation process of the gold budget system? I, unfortunately, in our, in our, in the, in our country, the, the law, the law set, the, the consumer, they, the number of the consumer is eight, uh, is uh, 18, the provider is only, only nine, nine peoples. So I, at the beginning, you want to, you want to have the negotiation process, the number, the consumer is our number, the provider. So in Taiwan, we always say there is an equal negotiation process. Next, I will talk about the, the point, the point value calculation. Now, within the, the global budgets, the provider are paid through a mix of fee for service and the other payment system using a 14 point value scale. The point values used to pay for service are reviewed uh, four times uh, throughout the years and uh, are reduced if service value increased too much. This ensures that the total payment stay under the cap in each, in each sector. So you can find out, eight, uh, uh, three months later, the government NHIA will calculate the point value. And according to the, the point value, they, uh, they give the money uh, to the provider. The point value, the point, uh, the calculated point value, I take, uh, uh, take uh, some example. If the, the point value uh, is budget divided by the medical point. For, is, for, in, for example, if the budget equal to 100 and the medical point equal to 18, the point value uh, will be equal to uh, 1.25. But, but unfortunately, uh, the point value in each global budget never happened, never above the one Number one. It's sad to say, in 2014 and 2016, the hospital sector, even the point value, even below uh, 0.9. So uh, it's very stressful and uh, very uh, for our owner of the hospital. It give the one one dollar. The medical service, but the government give you only the point, point eighteen five. So they, they supply we our our physician in Taiwan. They said their salary is not de increase, even decrease. Okay, let's look at the difference between the actual service point and the budget points. Uh, from two thousand four to. 2016, we can say that the government owned nearly 10 billion US dollars to hospital and uh, owned 3 billion US dollars to the Queenie. It's a very huge budget. So I want to talk about the 
the global budget system influencing on Taiwan the medical society. Uh, that's the main, the, the four main reason. I think it's very frustrating that Taiwan established the global body system uh, in these 14 years. The first, the, the 14 point value. We give the one point, we give the one point medical service, but we give only 90% uh, the medical, medical fee and the unreasonable fee schedule. The third, the third is unequal negotiation process, and the fourth is medical claim, the payment of all the things. So the cheap and the high quality medical services, the people always want to, the people in Taiwan want to pay less and the gain more. They want to the less or out of pocket, free, and the more the health payment. But unfortunately, in, in Taiwan, we can solve the hospital, the, the so-called the Sui Hospital. And we get work harder and harder, but we get less. So we have to reduce the consultation time to increase the number of patients. And uh, we give, uh, take, take my salary for example. My salary didn't change in these 20 years. So I, I think it, it's something wrong. If the global participation is so good, why our, our medical association, our physician, cannot get the similar, similar the salary. I take the China, China for example. If the delivery and the hospital can, the money in China is 10 to 20 times more than what Taiwan's NHI pay in fiction fee for the childbirth. So it's really sad. The medical association, Taiwan Medical Association, we face a very frustrated, disappointing uh, environment. The environment is not very friendly uh, to the physician. So, uh, the, so I, I conclude that a win-win loss situation. The people, they get the high quality service and uh, the government have to contain their, their medical expenditure. So our provider, they have work harder and harder and keep the low salary. So I, may, I, I try to give you some uh, suggestion for our dear Korea Medical Association and our people in Korea. The first, you want to implement the global budget system in Korea. The first, I think you have argued to em emphasize the, the government will guarantee you got the one point equal to one dollars. Even we cannot reach the one point equal to one dollars, the DRG have to pay by the extra global budget. If, so right now, the Taiwan's national, Taiwan's medical association, we try to struggle in with the, the, point, the point value. We want the central government to answer, answer us uh, give us the one point uh, equal to one dollars. And the second is the reasonable fee schedule. Uh, right now, uh, our government is some, some, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. They want to please the, their people. You know, the drug, all these drugs follow, the new drug follow hepatitis C. But you know, the, the drug is very expensive. But uh, this year, they were included into the global budget system. And uh, uh, they also announced the Da Vinci system will be included in the global budget system. And uh, all the medical expenditure didn't increase. As a result, the point value will decrease even below the point, uh, uh, point 0.8 or point 0.7. So we are, we are very frustrated. Uh, 12 years ago, we accepted the global budget system. Yeah. So we, we, uh, we really suggest if the, there is a budget for the new health te te technology, it will be beyond the global budget. You have to try find the extra the budget to pay the new health technology and the new drug. 
and the result is the equal negotiation process. We need to increase the uh, negotiation, negotiation the, the number of provider, and the, the provider and the profession delegate instead of general delegate or consumer. And during the negotiation process, the consumer maybe the delegates found uh, uh, the blue colors, blue color delegates. They even don't any any strategy or any professional knowledge. So uh, they, their main purpose is just decrease your medical expenditure. And uh, always they were, they received the suggestion of duration from the central government. And the central government always uh, says, oh, would you please don't increase the medical expenditure? Uh, if you increase the medical, medical expenditure too much, our people will unhappy, and the next solution they will fail. So, and uh, the last, the last uh, suggests the medical claim payment option. Okay. What? Why we talk about the the medical claim payment audience? Uh, because uh, the central government NHIA will will recruit some uh, physician to audience the medical claim pay, the payments. Uh, if, uh, two years ago, the audience doctor, uh, their name is, is not disclosure to, to the public. So the, we can find out the, the payment auditing. They didn't pay the that you don't pay the benefits is very high. So to, uh, this year, we require to disclose your name of the doctor who is in charge of the audit for each medical claim payment. And as a result, it decreases the percentage of not to pay benefit. So uh, that, that's my conclusion. From the Taiwan Medical Association perspective, not from the central government, not from the general population. We highly suggest you delay the implementation of global health in South Korea. Even we know that there is no single best way to allocate resources, nor is there a sole way to set the priority. According to the experience and the influence on uh, Taiwan Medical Association, uh, I think uh, before, before the KMA agree, the global budget system imprint in in South Korea. You have to, you have to study, discuss, discussion and discussion, more detail. Please don't follow our path. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.